well, uh, it's a very, very sad day and great loss to Indian art. No doubt about that. I mean, uh, it's in fact unbelievable. I'm so shocked and stunned by the news that Open Sar is no more. Um, I think the contribution to modern Indian painting, the whole uh, pictorial modern language which he created, which is uh, uncomparable. And I think uh, we are always going to miss him in a big way. The energy and the kind of uh, power which he, his work showed, and, and the person as a man, you know, what, what dynamic uh, way of you know working, living, and the planning of future all the time. You know, at this age, he had many many programs and plans to what to do in you know his uh, coming years. So this is something very sad. Right, uh, certainly sad indeed. Uh, uh, w uh, when was the last time you'd met him, Mr. Doria? I met him in uh, in um, uh, November 2009 in Abu Dhabi, and then spent the whole day with him in Dubai. We went, we were there, and kind of like had a lunch together, a long lavish lunch together, and then he took us to his studio. He was showing his new paintings and kind of. Uh, 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 we move around in Dubai and uh, in fact uh, uh, we, we sat, uh, uh, my wife Anju and myself, we sat with him in his Ferrari and he drew us to you know, Dubai and I mean you know it was it, it was so healthy, so fine, perfect you know, and he was planning for you know the series of paintings of cinema uh, which few he had done which he showed and uh, extremely active and uh, Fantastic, you know. I mean, uh, you feel so much energy, you know, when you meet with them. Right. Uh, you, in yeah. fact, what you're saying is interesting because that's something that others have also been telling us, whoever we've been speaking to, is that his lust for life and his energy and the number of projects that he really undertook. Uh, uh, Mr. Doria, also, uh, having said that, uh, uh, we were just talking to someone who also mentioned that he had numerous projects in the pipeline. He was 96 years of age, but he certainly didn't give up on that passion, which really was all he had towards the end of his life. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, um, um, the only, I mean, uh, the sad part that you know, he had to leave the country, you know, the last few years he was away, he couldn't come and then he had to kind of, you know, live there, which, which we missed him a lot. He was missing, you know, he would, he would often say that, no, no, I, I have to come, I'll suddenly come to Bombay and, you know, we will walk around in the streets and this and that. I think uh, something very, very tragic and sad, you know, uh, um, circumstances, you know, which occurred and, uh, uh, you know, uh, one feels very, very sad about the whole thing, the way it happened in the last few years.